Okay, so here we go guys. The last match of the bracket A. Yay. And um Yes, we had three other teams playing today for the quarterfinals. And uh two teams have scored around 19 minutes. And the other team uh wiped in wave 10. Sure, mate. So this time we get to spectate money, money, money. Uh, a bad kite. Your Brazilian team and in the last this round they uh, had about hit the 40 minute mark in round the first round. So this time we're going to see if they can actually do a bit better and the time to beat is about 19 minutes. Hopefully, hopefully they got the skills for six. So okay yeah. so this is quite in a common spot. We have seen this uh, at almost all the teams. Oh. Yeah, when I usually play on Aperture, I always play here. I don't don't usually survive, but it's the best place you can think of. Okay, so um, yeah, it seems uh, they got. Uh, ooh, he almost fell off there. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. Oh. Well, the good part is if you if you actually drop down there, you can sort of uh, you know come up the stairs quite quickly. Yeah, but if you get surrounded by stuff, you're done. Yeah, it is quite and bad if you fall. <laughs> and for the time as it is, uh, can't make any mistakes if you want to move on to the semifinals. Yep. You have to do is play so well to um, to become second place in the bracket. Mm -hmm. You see what uh, what the uh, shark did, number four, Infernox. He actually goes to the team in heals. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Quite tricky because um, at the moment you lose focus, a lot of stuff can actually come from that left door. Hmm. But the game is all about being surrounded by stuff and uh, not knowing what to do. So then we'll just throw a grenade like, down there. Yeah, that just happened. Okay, he as well. Looks like the majority of them are coming from the right side. So that's why they have all three of most of them focused there and this one sharp keeping an eye out on the left side. Okay. Well they got pretty tight coordination and uh, they don't seem to kite like last time. Mm -hmm. Kiting last time probably was up into the 40 minute mark so this time they're making a better choice of not kiting. Yeah. Which doesn't really play under name a bad kite. Hey, hey, Fine, ignore me. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> So 12 left, this round's about done in 3 minutes, so it's about uh, 3 minutes around, it might be around 18 minutes if okay, they can gonna keep that up. Down. Yeah, it's always those little end bits where you start moving towards Traitor, but you forget that one Z can cripple you terribly as we saw in the last round, and wipe out one member completely. Yeah, you don't want to kill by a crawler. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. happened before. Oh man. So, what so are your estimates, guys, for how long they'll take? I'm gonna be quite interested if they're gonna hold the same spot, you know, for the entire game. The other ones, uh, some of the teams actually switch, so they had two different spots. Oh. So, um, they actually skipped the trader time and then picked a spot nearby so they were more efficient. Alright, well. Yeah. Okay, so making a move. Looks like they got their. Uh, I think we shotgun. Yeah, so shotgun. To answer your question, I think we're gonna get 24 minutes here. 24 minutes. I'm gonna say 26. Okay. So far, my bets have been very good, and I've been winning money off of you. Right. <laughs> All right. So they skipped about uh, 20 seconds in trader time there, and they're holding a nether common room. Well, for flashbound coming in right at the start. Oh, I found this one to be pretty challenging to stay at. Yeah. But if they get overrun here, they have very... Yeah, they have to escape, well. run right out there. So yeah, before, uh, with all the content we have and all the things that happen, uh, we got also Kami here, of course. Uh, do you like to do an introduction about yourself, Kami? Well, as you all know, I mean, this Kami. I've been playing Killing 4 for ever since it was released, really. And, uh, 
Yeah, that's what you need to know about me. I'm just going for a fanatic and I'm here to game and just have fun. Hope to yeah. play a tournament myself soon sometime. Yeah, that's because you, you, you also played for. in the past, right? In one of the tournaments? I, yeah, I, I got to almost playing the tournament but I was doing the practices and I couldn't actually get in. So, mm. that was a bust. But, definitely, hope, hoping for the best and you know, get my chance to go in. Alright, so that bell just means the 5 minute mark. They're doing pretty well so far, 5 minutes and oh. uh, so it's a second wave. Oh, pause for Christine? Yeah, pause. Alright, cool. Pink seem okay. Maybe, Maybe we have to use a file break. A pink problem. Really, pink problem. I'm okay. Nothing above 900, we're fine. Oh, really? Oh, you got your 10 minutes pause then. Better use it if you can. I haven't actually seen most teams use their pause time unless something goes wrong. Or they just want to call pause time. Yeah, actually the last uh, match we had a uh, pretty serious ping problem that got around 400. Oh, jeez. And uh, we're getting quite near to 3 minutes. Okay, I think they are ready. Alright, let's get back to it. And here we go. Okay, so some are pretty low on health right now. I think Junior's on half, and the two people healed him. Pretty good, pretty good. So I've here hold this uh, spot in the past, Rainbow. Yeah, it's only held it once when you maybe test this map. Oh, oh, there's flesh bound. Mm, the flesh bound dead. Cute. Wow, those the were two sirens behind it. If the <laughs> just other way around it, but quite funny. Yeah. Concentrated now the other team uh, hold here as well, and they had um, only one sharpshooter. Oh, really? but it, but they did have three supports, and it was actually uh, the team of Ed. All oh, right, the specials, the specials, and um, yeah, it was quite uh, tough sometimes, and uh, such such firepower, you know, going through that door with mm. all the shotguns, and that was really amazing. Yeah. All right, looks like they're headed to the trader again. Don't get stuck on a crawler. Can you see I'm reloading? Does that we bad? Do you think they'll hold yeah. the same spot? I think they're gonna go back to uh, to the other one. Oh yeah. That because I think the trader is more uh, at the spawn or at that same spot actually. I'm reloading. Cover me. Yeah, if it's closer, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, stay there. Being cut quite a bit of trader time. No, I, I would mow that clot down directly. Yeah. There you go, arrow to the head. Alright, so they're sitting around 6 minutes right now, and finishing wave 7. Would you lot needed money? So... If they keep this up and don't die, they might be able to... And speed things up a bit, they might be able to make it to the semi-finals. Well, it was quite a decent uh, skip there. Just an, uh, in and out. All the time. And, it, and I saw a pipe bomb as well, that the, the demo got. Oh wow. Alright, so that's one flash pound dead. More to come. More <laughs> more. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're mass produced. It's like there's this company out there that does this uh what's gonna call it? Uh human research and just produces all these Zeds that just come in endless waves. I don't know about you, but that seems a bit like uh the sound the starting of a horror story. Oh wait, this is a horror game. Or supposed to be. You no, know, I don't really quite find Killing Floor that scary after playing it so long. Killing Floor 2 had more of a cartoon vibe to it. Kind of preferred Day of 1 for its uh, just the theme environment. It's a lot grittier, creepier. Yeah. Well, we got some company from the left. Yeah. Didn't distract him too much, so they're still doing pretty well. I uh, still remember holding this spot myself, and um, what I also used to do is sometimes put a shark in that hallway, so they come up the stairs and then put them in the corner. All right. So he, he can mow down a lot of those sets, and they you know they target that player. But if you don't shoot anything, they won't pick you. 
Mm. So you could just mow down on what you think you're capable of. Yeah, I can never try that before. Yeah. Have you seen about commandos? Have there been a lot of successful commandos in this? Um, I think I don't think we have a lot of commandos. I think maybe one or two, maximum in all of the games. <laughs> Only one or two commandos sign up for a whole tournament. Yeah. Oh wow, really? Not the same for. I was expecting not to see too many fireboats, but I saw one team had two fireboats. That was in the last round. I can tell you, I don't. Actually, I don't remember how they did. Go up here, and the flesh flesh pound. Oh, that's great. Oh, got through. Scrape. Ooh. Oh, ah, they got it. A little bit of damage, and they took it out with a double barrel. Pause. He's asking for pause. Oh, and now that's the company from the other side you get. <laughs> uh, Mark, he's asking for a pause. Okay. So they're having a, quite a few ping problems. It's unfortunate, but sometimes technology not everything seems to work properly. If up to me, I'd say send fibers to every cable, every house in the country. But well, that's it's better. Expensive. It's better to have a, an, uh, a bad connection and an unreliable connection, which is something uh, Team Synergy has issues with. Ah. Uh. They uh, they dropped out completely with one player. That's so bad because then you have to uh, you know do the three player game. We need to change one team player. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's something I haven't actually seen. <laughs> I haven't seen this. I don't think I've ever seen a switch in the, all the matches I've seen. <coughs> yeah, all, most teams are big enough to do that, but this team seems to have uh, quite a few numbers. So it looks like they are they swapping the person who has the high ping, which is uh, Juniors, was it? I think it was Boca. Boca Juniors. Oh, alright. Here we go, they're just preparing a little bit for a player switch, how they can do that the best. I yeah, haven't haven't seen this in this game at all. Well except for pub games where people come and <clears throat> yeah, go this, to please. Yeah, this takes quite a bit of preparation because um, you know because you don't have any spawn weapons. You have to pass that layout in the money and the weapons to the other player. Yeah. But okay. Take a lot of coordination to do this properly. One, one thing I'm making sure I do is, is that when I go to build my team is that I get everybody with a good connection, good ping, make sure nothing goes wrong during the tournament. Well, it's really good they actually have a sub, because um, if you have four players, it's really hard to make a switch. Yeah. Also, when you make a team, you. don't choose someone who picks a chainsaw. <laughs> Which is why I'm not playing this tournament, I'm here stuck talking about this tournament instead. Thank you, specials, for leaving me out. Stand still or I'll stick it when I send Thank them. you very much. Mostly Ed's fault. Okay, so we got one set left. Seems they're saving him. I'm trying to heal you, yep. not bloody tickle you. 
We're approaching ten minutes. Stand still, guess switching. The sand and, shine. and there's ten minutes. Hold on a there we go. Okay. So the crossbow's on the ground. So I guess they're preparing for the switch. Okay. Okay. Players left. It's going to be quite a bit of time from walking from the spawn point to the trader. Yeah, well, gladly it's a little bit early. You know, you still got 52 seconds. Yeah, so you might not be able to skip some of the trader time this time around. Okay, we could tank in. So this means he's going to pick the sharpshooter perk. The class is always like everybody's savior. Sharpshooter. That good old sharpshooter. Always need a sharpshooter. Yeah, except in pub games, no one respects the sharpshooter and just throws fire, grenade, shotgun shells, everything everywhere. I'm just going, why? Why? Why would you do this it's to me? It's raining money! <laughs> Yeah, for me, I'm I'm just I'm really used to the commando class. It's all I really can play my best. Uh. Okay, so uh, Tank is now actually on his way to the trader. All right, let's go see where he is. I'm quite curious if they ask him to go to the spot directly, or if hmm. he gets to go to the trader. That's a decision they had to make. In cash, guys, someone take it. I think he's going directly to the trader by the looks of it. I think so. Now, even if he just goes there and pick oh, up the crossbow, that's already a great move on uh, on the position he's in. There you go. He, he has okay, to be super fast now so to get that guns. Yep, run in by all. Three, two, one, and how does the trader? All right, it looks like they didn't quite have the time to uh, set up. Yeah. Well, oh my God, oh, the grenade just got exploded. Oh, you're talking about flesh pounds to your final death. Okay, so that was well dealt with. Looks like they're fighting a strike trying to get into the room actually and get back to the pointer camping. Okay, everybody's in? Yeah, alright. But they're all there. 18 back in the van? <laughs> 18 with someone else switched out. <laughs> Who would you switch on the 18? Probably Murda going out of the van there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But hey, I'm, re I'm really happy they made it, and this was such a such a critical moment for them. Hmm. I hope uh, right they don't get any ping problems now anymore. That yeah, seems like they're okay. So they have about seven minutes in order to yeah seven minutes in order to make it to the semifinals. Yeah, and um, yeah, people are limited. However, you can only make two switches in the uh, per match. So there is a limit on it. You just can you can switch uh, the whole time. All right. Because this rule can be a little bit abused with the uh, when you get spawn weapons. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you don't gain that much from it, and there are also negative sides to it, like losing time and uh, not being reliable and a bunch of other yeah. things. But um, yeah, we do have a limit on it. Let's do switches. When it comes to tournaments, it's got to be challenging, you got to be ready to actually really yeah. play. <laughs> but uh, this tournament you have no win, you don't get any spawn weapons, so that's uh, not too interesting. <laughs> oh, so here comes another Ooh, we count. didn't get race. oh now it does. So many nades. Okay, they fucked up the strike, no problem. Nicely done. Nicely done. Really helps to have like a uh, second stunter, you know, for the squeaks. If the other guy misses, there's still uh, a good chance the other gets it. Yeah, that explains why a lot of people have been picking double sharpshooters and just the other two are either support or demos. Yeah. Or the other one with a firebug. Which still confounds me to this day. <laughs> How did that firebug go? That's what I'm wondering. Pardon? How did that firebug go? He make it. Oh, the firebug, uh, I think, got clawed by the Patriarch and their demo uh, blew himself up many times. 
Yeah, yeah it, it happens, it happens, but... Okay, so we're actually hitting the 40 minutes mark almost on uh, Wave 9 Trader time. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. So that's probably, you know, let's say 40 and a half on Wave 10 when they get back. So I think they might be able to... I think they'll definitely be under 24 minutes, but if they don't, if they keep this up, they'll be under 24, but... Yeah, and I think, you know, because they're a little bit there on this other trade, I think they're going to back to the, uh, to, heal ya. to the spot they used to hold. With the box. Bloody frog will be more yeah. used than you. Find that location to be the fastest. I mean, so they skip about 20, really 20 odd seconds. And they're blessed with a double flesh, flesh pound coming in somewhere. At least I think it's double. Wave 10 usually has double. So this means that in 4 minutes they have got to do wave 10 and wave 11. <laughs> yeah. And this is going to be super tight. Boom chair time. So there's a first flesh pound. And it's dead. Rip. There's number 2. Break in front of... Uh oh. So there goes that. So And he actually made it in. So okay, great clear. It. Okay. Go 200 zeds, and you have about 15 minute mark right there with the bell. Four minutes to finish off everything. Yeah, so um, what the demo could do to contribute a lot is shoot down the hole. He's been doing it a little bit already. Shooting into the pit down there to take out the stragglers coming in. Yeah. The sharpshooter of MGC was quite good in that. He actually killed a lot of sirens before they came up. Uh, we are also pretty damn specific on picking them out. Yeah, sirens are very hard to hit for some reason. Well, their heads are hard to hit. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, and also screaming eh? moves a little bit the screen and uh, disorientates the player. Yeah. Oh, that's, mm. that's not worth the mm. And that's why uh, flesh bones and sirens are such an interesting combination. They always spawn together. I don't know why. Yeah, it's because the squads are combined. Yeah. Thank you, Tripwire, for making this game so difficult for me that I get kicked out of the tournament. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. So 84 left for about three minutes. So what do you think, uh, Kami? Are they gonna make it? Are they gonna reach the 90 minutes? I mean, so far with their performance, uh, kind of hard to say. Really, it's like I think. They just don't know yet. It's gonna be super tight. I think, um... I do think that they're gonna reach this before 18 minutes. Hmm. Alright, there's an air flash count dead. Oh, and there's a raging one right there. Okay, and great dead. stuff. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be close. Three sirens. Oh, jeez. That will rip you apart very quickly. No, another one. Another wow. one? <laughs> oh, wow. okay. Fire. Ex girlfriend day. Raging strike. Oh, jeez. Alright, uh, coming back. Okay, so most of them on fire. Not anymore. Okay, so that's 70 minutes on the yeah. clock. So this Suicide means oh, they're gonna leave the trader at 18 minutes, I think. I put you yeah, here? depends how much time you can skip. So where do you think they'll hold up for the Patriarch? Um, well, if the trader is spawned, they might stick at spawn. Hmm. Looks like it is spawn. Yeah. Now, the, the, the fourth guy has to scout. He has to go over there. Yeah. Okay, 17 minutes, 27 seconds. If they can lock the Patriarch in there with them somehow, well, they can keep him from running away and just murder him. Okay, I see the demo is going uh, already to the spot, so I don't think they're gonna hold there. Yeah. I am, however, surprised they got uh, 1.2k left. Hmm. So they could at least buy one pipe bomb with that. Oh. So, so I, I, if I was a demo, I would like drop one, uh, you know, along the way. What on earth? Okay, so they skip some more time, and there's a page truck right there. I'm not quite sure where that is exactly. Okay. Could have been near the office. Wave 11, and they got around one minute to beat the other team. Yeah. Let's go shopping, chaps. P1 
people have to go on the watch out oh, to uh, to find them. Okay, he's now at the spawn, and he's scanning a little bit on his way. Yeah, I probably should have stayed at the spawn point instead of coming back to this point. Yeah. And I think the Softer player slopes, which kind of uh, made like things a lot worse for them. Okay, he's now slowly approaching, you're hitting the first pipe. There we go. And he opens the door. Okay. 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 A truck ran away. Quite impressive hit. <clears throat> if they kept him from running away, they might have been able to murder him. But... Looks like they're about out of time. Yeah. So that's the second heal. Sorry, the first heal. So one of the things I like uh, about this spot, uh, Rainbow, is that you can uh, walk around the boxes in the middle. <laughs> And um, oh. it's at first you're getting killed too quickly by the petty. Just walk a little bit around the boxes to avoid uh, those slaps. Hmm. I mean, that's why you chose this point. Oh, there's some more explosions and... That's Long he's running like around. Kirk Another heal. Huh. I haven't seen much of people... Okay, that gets a 20 minute mark. Stand still. Do I, I haven't seen many teams able to prevent the Patriot from healing this, throughout this tournament. Nor following... Oh. Uh, and chasing oh, it. Yeah. In the previous tournaments, uh, when I played, uh, we were able to keep the turn. Uh, we were able to keep the patriarch in place in the stop. stop okay, that's away. a lot of damage there. Yeah. Running again. Okay, so that was a quick, uh, quick interaction there with the team. Well spotted in the middle. Yep. <coughs> He's still a little bit running because he was on fire. Found the spot now to heal. So. I think Arcus is going to get a face full of Patriarch. Well, you can say they played bad here because um, they played a pretty damn clean game. Yeah. No, they did. Try hard, you smelly they're bastards. Good. Good. <laughs> He's trying to bribe the Patriarch. Cash here, grab it all. <laughs> Loads of money. All right, so here he comes. I tried that once, but it landed it landed you into one of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's rocket and chain gun. Oh. Nora, gun. Slam him with some grenades. And all the grenades. And then they're all oh, there. What a boom. 21 minutes, 20 seconds. A bad kite did very well. Cash here, grab it all. Good game, everybody. And skipped nearly about two minutes of trader time. Good job. A bad kite. Yeah, good job. And uh, thank you guys for joining me today here.